Hi and welcome to Elevation Youth. My name's Mark. It's good to be back again. Uh, thank you to Dave for last week. Now this week uh, we've had a corker uh, of a video. This one is by a guy called Sam Henshaw. He is uh, new to many of you I'm sure. What you'll probably find is very interesting is that he is one of the YouTube one to watch. He is uh, increasingly becoming very popular. Uh, he's got a very unusual uh, sort of gospel twist soul mix of music that is very, very catchy. And also you've probably seen through the video as well. He's got a sort of a cheekiness in the videos, which I know a lot of people like, I like as well. Uh, it brings a smile to your face. So if you haven't already watched it twice or three times, Check it out again and watch it shortly. But let just uh, let me just finish first, uh, and I'll just hopefully draw a little bit more to look at. So Sam Henshaw, yeah, he comes from the south of London, and uh, he goes to his local church there. He's a Christian himself, and in a lot of his videos, he talks about his faith, which is really really good to know. For the observers among you, uh, there was a part in the video where he put a Bible reference up. Now, can you remember when that was or where that was? Little question for you. I'll give the answer. So the passage that he referred to that was on, there was a, a board at the back of the church that is zoomed in at the end of the, the video was from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, verse 20. And I'll just read this for us. So this is Matthew 18, verse 20. And these are the words of Jesus. For where two or three come together in my name, there am I with them. And that's encouraging that wherever we are, when we meet together again through the internet and through the YouTube, uh, as part of the group, uh, Jesus is with us and that's encouraging. Now, there's a there's a passage in the, the Bible I know that we we looked at before some point last year from John chapter 3 verse 16. And if people were to ask me, um, what difference does it make about being a Christian? Because some people ask that question. At this time, a lot of people are asking the, qu the big questions of life. What is life about? Is there a God? Is there this uh, God-shaped hole in people that people are searching to fill, but looking at the wrong direction? Well, for me, John chapter 3, verse 16 speaks wonderfully and clearly of what that is. For me, I know I'm known by God, I'm loved by God, and I've been made by God. And that it's through Jesus, his sacrifice, his death on the cross, that I know I'm forgiven. Um, forgiven of my sins. And that when my time comes, when God calls me home to the heavenly home, that I'll be welcomed into the heavenly home in heaven. So for me, as a Christian, Jesus is what it's about. Following Jesus, being a disciple, a follower of Jesus, loving Jesus and drawing closer to him in the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, the power of the Holy Spirit, you might think, well, what's that? Well, there is sometimes you might hear in a church service or in other places uh, or at school. It's in the God, the Father, God, the Son and God, the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not going to go too much into that now because we could be here a long time. Um, but just going back to that passage, little passage from John's gospel John chapter 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life and the word eternal life refers to being in heaven forever and ever and ever and ever so the two little verses here this week the one from Matthew 18 which I'll just read again and Jesus said, for where two or three come together in my name, there am I with them. So don't be put off that you might be watching this video by yourself uh, or with one other person or maybe the parent or friend that we are connected together and uh, we are part of the church, God's church, which is huge around the world and throughout all the generations. So this week. Do check out some of Ham Sam Henshaw's videos. Get my words out. Um, I'm struggling to get my words out again, aren't I? Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> so do check out some of his videos. Very, very good. And uh, I'm just going to pray for you now and pray for us before we, uh, we finish this week. Dear God, we thank you for the Bible and for your word, your holy word that's revealed through it. Help us to think about 
what it is to be a Christian and what makes a difference to us for those who are Christians, what makes a difference to us in our life. So we thank you, Jesus, that we can know you and respond to your love in our lives and follow you as disciples, followers of Jesus. We pray that through this lockdown and the gradually easing time with family and friends as it changes and into the summer holidays, that we can continue to read the words in the Bible and learn more of you. So thank you for the youth group and at some point we look forward to meeting together. May you bless us together and protect us. In Jesus' name. Amen. There we go. Good to see you. Good to catch up. And uh, I'll catch up again soon. Cheers. Bye bye.